In this video, we'll look at pushing an air mapper floor plan to a unit and importing .amp files. The topics covered will be importing a floor plan, calibrating the floor plan, push Wi-Fi survey information to a unit from Link Live, and importing a .amp file. There are two ways to configure an air mapper survey, on the unit itself or within Link Live and push the survey to the desired units. In this video, we'll look at how to configure the survey within Link Live and push it to the unit running AirMapper. This is a great way for a Wi-Fi engineer at one location to configure the survey, then have someone at the remote location run the survey. The first step in creating an AirMapper survey in Link Live is to upload a floor plan. I'll start by clicking on the AirMapper icon on the left side of the screen. Next, I'll click on the Action button in the lower right corner of the screen. From here, I'll click on Manage Floor Plans. Manage Floor Plans allows me to add, delete, and edit AirMapper floor plans. To add a floor plan, I'll click on the Add button in the lower right corner. This brings up the floor plan information screen. I'll enter the name for the floor plan. I can enter labels to help organize the floor plan and make it easy to find in the future. Next, I'll click on the image icon to upload the floor plan. The file needs to be a PNG or JPEG format. Once the floor plan has been uploaded, I'll need to enter the dimensions or calibrate the floor plan. To calibrate the floor plan, I must know the exact distance between two locations on the floor plan. Clicking on Calibrate will bring up the calibration tool. I'll move the calibration tool to the starting location and then click. Next, I'll move to the ending location and click. After I've selected the beginning and ending locations, I'll enter the distance between the two locations. The longer the distance between the two locations, the more accurate the calibration. A laser measure is a very handy tool to use when determining the distance between the two locations. Link Live will update the height and width of the floor plan based on the calibration information. Now that I've calibrated the floor plan, I need to set the signal propagation distance. This distance will be based on the type of environment I'm surveying. The greater the number of RF obstructions, the shorter the distance. In this case, I'm surveying a hotel, which has a great number of RF obstructions. I'll set the signal propagation to 10 feet. This means the person conducting the survey will need to take a measurement every 5 feet. The shorter the signal propagation, the more accurate the survey. Now that I've created the floor plan, I can apply it to the units. I have the choice of applying the floor plan to all the units that have been claimed to this organization or specific units. Clicking on specific units will display a list of claimed units that support AirMapper. In this case, I'll select my AirCheck G2. The AirCheck G2 must be connected to an internet connection, either through the ethernet port on the side or by connecting to a Wi-Fi network. Once connected to the internet, the AirCheck G2 will download the floor plan. The AirMapper survey process can now be performed using the AirCheck G2. For more information on conducting AirMapper surveys, be sure to check out our videos on the topic. Once the survey is complete, there are two methods available for uploading the results to Link Live. These are uploading directly to Link Live or importing a .amp file. Let's look at how to upload a .amp file into Link Live. The first step is to save the .amp file to a USB drive. On the AirCheck G2, I'll go to Settings, then Manage Files. I'll, dis I'll display AirMapper files. Next, I'll select the survey. Then, I'll tap on Save to USB. Switching over to Link Live, I'll click on the Action button in the lower right corner. Then, I'll click on Import and .amp file. I'll give it a descriptive name. Next, I'll click on Choose File. I'll go to the AirCheck G2 Exported Files Files directory. 
Then I'll click on the .amp file and click Open. Now that I've provided a title and a file, I'll click on Upload. Once the .amp file has been uploaded and processed, it is available for analysis. Clicking on the survey, we see the following options are available. Analysis, Wi-Fi survey, and export. For more information on viewing and analyzing AirMapper Wi-Fi surveys, check out our video on the topic. In summary, in this video, we've gone through importing a floor plan into Link Live, calibrating the floor plan, pushing the floor plan to one or more units, importing a .amp file. These processes provide a means of centrally configuring an air mapper survey, conducting the survey, and importing the results for analysis. Be sure to check out our other videos on getting the most out of Link Live.